Well, our star link finally went out uh, due to the trees. As you can see, we have all these trees up there. And it's going in and out. It seems like a certain time of day, it's uh, not quite as bad, but uh, later in the afternoon, it's been going out. So we did order our uh, 150 foot of cable for the Starlink. So we're going to stretch that wire out. And, uh, we only have 50 foot on there now, so we're gonna do uh, 150 foot. We're gonna be able to get it down in the yard pretty far. and Hopefully, that's gonna keep the trees out of the way. and We're not gonna have to worry about it going out. So here is our new wire. Uh, we just got it in. Just got shipped in. And uh, 150 foot of cable. I think that's going to take care of whatever we need, hopefully. So I got my son here helping me today. He's going to help me run this wire out so we can get this thing hooked up. We're going to see just how far we can get away from the house without pulling it out of the house. We're just going to plug it in and try it and see what happens. This thing's pretty cool because it does everything on its own. This wire here, if we put this on a telephone pole, we'll have more than enough to go up the pole pretty short. Hopefully Sophie don't come down here and gnaw on this. We're just going to set it here for the time being and see how it works. Hopefully it works out. Okay, it took just a little while longer for that thing to set up because we moved it, I think, so far. But we're up and running again, and so what we'll do is we'll probably... I think we're going to end up putting the telephone pole down there and then mounting that thing on that telephone pole because I think that's the best place we could possibly find right here on the homestead. Well, we're getting ready to put our Starlink cable in. We have the conduit and the cable, everything ready. Uh, as you guys seen a little bit ago, we had to move the satellite clear down there to the other end of the yard and we finally got service and it's working great. So down there is where we're going to put a pole in, but we're going to go ahead and take the backhoe, dig our trench, put our conduit in, and then we're going to show you how we determine where we wanted to put this Starlink satellite. What Julie's doing now is we got the cord laid out and she's just kind of making a dotted line so I can follow that with the backhoe. It really would have been nice to have a ditch witch to do this, but we have to work with what we have. And I think that's an 18 inch bucket. It's gonna have to do. It's gonna make a mess, but we'll get it cleaned up. So in this project, we didn't need a whole lot, a couple elbows and some glue, and uh, we had to get this box here. But we have all the conduit, about 130 foot of conduit, so Julie's going to slide those up on there.
So Julie's got a bunch of the pipe on the wire right now. We're gonna go ahead and glue this up and get it ready so she can just add a pipe and glue it on as I go. So we got some good, this is an all-purpose glue cement and it's for this stuff. I'm gonna stir it just a little bit. We're gonna get the elbows glued on here. That way she knows what direction these guys are gonna go in. Doing here. Do you need help? Give that a second to try. <laughs> Julie did sand all the ends of these, so I don't know if I said that or not. But... I got all the pipes sanded, so we're good to go. We'll get this pipe lined up. That way Julie could just keep adding them on. And as we go, we should have this done tonight. Okay, we got the ditch dug and the majority of our pipe in. Now we still have to dig the telephone pole right there. If you can see them square dots, that's where the satellite dish goes, right there. You can see the square dots. So we're gonna leave that open tonight, but we're gonna try to bury the ditch tonight. And then tomorrow we'll sink the pole, build the bracket for the satellite to set on and get it mounted on the pole. Uh, and I can tell you right now, we can't do this work without Julie and I both working together, uh, doing this. I'm digging, she's putting the pipe in and putting it together. I've got the dirty hands here. See whose hands are dirty? Wait a minute, mine are dirty too. No, no, no. Yeah, look. No, mine are dirty. Well, you could have run the back, <laughs> hoe. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna start covering, I'm gonna start up there where we glued it in last, or first, 
We're gonna go up there, start up there, and we're gonna work our way down here. We're gonna get it covered up. She's a dog, she ain't even a cat, look at her. So what I got Julie doing is she's rolling that in real good. Uh, we actually got all the dirt back in there. There's really not much of a hump, but we rolled it really, really good. And I think it looks pretty nice. I mean, it's about 120, 130 feet of ditch there. And uh, we did it in one afternoon, got the pipe in. It's all mounted into the house, right there. Nice and pretty. Tomorrow, we'll get the, the telephone pole put in, we'll get the bracket, and we'll get it mounted on there. It shouldn't be that hard. I think this was our biggest problem right here, getting this ditch dug and getting a pipe put in. So she's gonna roll over that. I'm gonna rake a little bit, just clean up, and we'll be done with this part. Okay, you can see how I cut this this way and this way. We're making the bracket for the Starlink that's gonna hold it to the telephone pole. Okay, now I got a piece of pipe that is exactly the same size as our Starlink. Oh, piece that knows, needs to go in here. So we gotta go down a, a good bit. So we're gonna take some more metal off of this and we're gonna bend it together and see if we can get it down we need to get it down to this size here. Okay, this looks a little rough, but it's gonna work. And it's gonna work good, because I've already built one of these for my neighbor up there, and he's still using it to this day. So, we're just gonna use a couple hose clamps. We'll clamp that in there. That'll hold it in there nice and tight. What I'm doing now is just digging the hole for the telephone pole. I was trying to get it to at least weighs four feet. The pole's not huge, so it doesn't have to be really deep but we don't want it toppling over if we get in there. If we're up on it, we don't want it flipping over. We're just over three feet now. I'd like to get it one more foot.
Well, the pole's in there. We'll get it straightened up and get it put in there nice and tight. Hopefully, it won't fall over. Especially when we get up there on the top to put the satellite. What I'm doing now is taking a plumb bulb and if you look back and line your pole up with this plumb bulb you can get your pole pretty much perfectly flat. That's the way they've done it in the olden days and that's the way we're doing it today. Well, that's about as straight as I can get that pole. We've got two braces on it. That'll be good until we get it settled in there. Okay, what I'm doing now is filling this thing completely full of concrete. So we're going to take four 80-pound bags. We already got two down in there. We're going to do two more. This pole's not going anywhere. You want to get some little water for me? And one guy yelled at me for not um, mixing the concrete. Normally I'll put a little bit of water down in the hole and uh, pour the uh, dry concrete right on top of it. It hardens just like so anything just else. pour some in? Yeah, about half of that. There's enough moisture down in the ground where you don't even have to Yeah, that's water. why I'm doing this because I want it to dry fast. I want to set up quicker. Okay. Yep. So now we'll put dry concrete right in the hole. And if it doesn't work, well, it works. It always works. Yeah, we've done it before. I'm sure a lot of people do it this way. Let me come to your side. Yeah, we've already put two bags in there. And Julie tamped them in, so... So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to dig over here and get my conduit over here, run it up the pole, and then I got one more bag to put in there. Alright, we got the rest of our line in there, we got the conduit to here. I have one more bag of concrete, we're just going to dump it in here where it stays and where it lays. <laughs>
Do you want to put any more water on it? Not until I get some dirt up on there. Okay. So now we're going to go ahead and get this pipe covered up, clean up a little bit, and then we'll be able to get to the pole and get the satellite up there. Okay, we got our start link up there. Got the bracket mounted. I'm gonna paint this pole just a little bit because it does look pretty nasty. I should have painted it while it was down. Yeah, that would have been smart. <laughs> Look at that other side from down there, Joel. Make sure it looks alright. Right there. Yeah, it looks okay. Add eh, just a little bit of paint make it look good. All we got to do now is attach the wire to the pole and we're going to put a couple solar lights on this pole uh, just so we have a little extra light here at the night time. 
Of course, down here in the hollow, there's no lights. We don't have any lights hooked up to shore power. So now this is what I need you guys to do before you purchase your Starlink. You want to go to the App Store and you want to find your Starlink and download the Starlink app. So go ahead and click on it. Okay, okay. you're going to check for obstructions. So click on check for obstructions. Okay. Confirm what satellite you have. Standard. No, no, this one. Oh. Okay, now what you're going to do is you're going to point this thing up. And you're going to see little green dots. And what you're going to do is go around and around. You're going to collect all them little green dots. I'm hoping you guys could see this. It's hard to do, especially walking around in circles holding the camera. Okay. Now it says view results. Okay, so it's not the best. This is not the best area. See, this is red and that's orange and orange. Let's, let's try again. We're gonna try again up this way. Okay, now you have to keep doing this until you find the best spot that you possibly can for your Starlink. You're collecting all them little green dots. Okay, let's view results. This is definitely something you want to do before you purchase your Starlink. Okay, this is basically giving me the same thing. What you really want is all them dots on there, you want them to be green. Uh, this is a bad area, but there is no better area in my, uh, on my property for this satellite. And that was the reason why we put the satellite on such a big pole. Now, I can't, tr I can't go up there and do use this thing up there, but it doesn't take much to stream. Uh, down or uploading doesn't take a whole lot. If you're going to video, like uh, if I want to do a live stream, it, it will take a lot and gaming takes a lot. So right now we're not having any troubles. We're going to try live streaming one time, but I think uh, we are set up pretty good uh, where we're at right now. So that is what you want to do before you buy your... Uh, Starlink make sure because I like I said all this big yard that I have there's really no other place to put it that doesn't have trees we just have trees completely all the way around us now winter time that thing's gonna come in crystal clear we can live stream we can game we could do everything with it but right now I'm not sure we'll try the live streaming and see if it uh, works so we have gotten everything done. Uh, the yard still will probably rake us or we'll drag it a little bit, but it turned out pretty good. And uh, we got the pole in. We put a solar light up on the top, if you could see up there. We're gonna be leaving a link in the description down below for that solar light. If you guys want some of them solar lights, we can do that for you. Uh, we'll leave the Starlink in the description down below. 
a uh, few things that we're using here we'll leave uh, links for you now listen we do appreciate you guys uh, uh, shopping on our Amazon store it really helps us a lot we really like that uh, because it is a lot of support for the channel now if you buy your Starlink and you have to do what I did how much was it Joel Conduit, oh, we had to buy yeah. conduit, 150 foot of wire, Con concrete for the pole. We, have... we just got lucky that we had the pole, the pole already on the property. Just moving this down to here cost us three about $365. So $365 <laughs> just, to just to move that down here and to get it set up the right way. It was very expensive. Yeah. Not much more. We could have bought another Starlink. Yeah. Yeah, so, it was uh, very yeah, it was expensive. So, you guys be careful. Make sure you use your app. And then, find a good location. Yeah, find a good spot. And if you don't have that location, you may not want to buy the Starlink. Uh, now, if I had it to do all over again, ah, I'd still buy the Starlink. Because, well, because compared to our other internet in this area, this is way better. Right. This is definitely way better. Uh, it doesn't really load on a TV or anything when you watch TV. Every once in a while it'll go out, but you know that it only happens very seldom. Yeah. Not very often it goes out. Yeah. So we don't want to cut all of our trees down, but yeah, the trees are nice because it, it actually gives us shade uh, and breaks some of the wind. And I hate to cut them all down. And it's privacy, you yeah. know. It's nice when you look around here. You know, you look around and you know the road is up there on the other side of them trees. You really can't even see the road, and they can't see down in here, which is really nice. We like yeah. it. We love the privacy. Yeah, there's a lot of trees. So, well, I guess. Uh, I'm going to tell everyone, thanks for watching the video. Don't forget to subscribe. Leave me thumbs up, thumbs down, or a comment if you'd like. Until next time.